Hey guys, it's Brent here, and we are doing something a little bit different. Um, actually, this is my first time doing a voiceover for one of my videos. Um, this is gonna be a drawing time lapse. Um, I'm actually pretty excited to start doing these as something new for the channel. Um, been throwing it around a lot, and I've had the video done for quite a while. Um, I just needed to do the writing for the actual time lapse. Um, this is gonna be a drawing of one of my D&D uh, &D characters. Um, I played a couple years ago at this point um, and did an actual podcast with um, who is now just a NPC in my actual campaign. So, you know, without further ado, let's jump into it. Um, we'll talk some more at the very end on opinions on this. All right. So, this is a time lapse of Tyrion Hatterson. Uh, he is a Shadow Kai wizard of lore, uh, my first actual play character. Um, for my first full campaign, I played a couple or maybe a one shot or two uh, before this with characters that I don't even remember at this point. Um, so this is my actual first character. Um, and we played through from level one to level 20. And we're just going to do a quick kind of overview of who he was and what happened with him. So at the start of his journey, before he even met his adventure party, he was a very accomplished teacher. Um, for Haran, uh, which is for a city called Haran, um, which was a pretty large town. Um, he went there and worked at the Haran School uh, for the Arcane Arts. Um, he was a teacher of enchantment magic, um, and he just loved teaching and he loved the students. Um, it's really his kind of passion, um, going from a home uh, being not really abandoned but put out um, when he was a kid. Uh, by his mother when he was in the Shadowfell and kind of spent a lot of time um, growing and being on his own. Um, so being able to teach and nurture students was really um, a thing he enjoyed. Um, his uh, kind of the crux of his backstory was um, during a pretty normal uh, class presentation, um, there was an incident, um, something went wrong and a magical explosion actually happened and it, um, it was devastating. Um, some of the kids were hurt. Um, one even actually ended up being killed. Um, at that point, um, Tyrion was the uh, res like the only culprit, um, the only person in the wrong um, for what it had happened. So um, he was locked up. His teaching license were revoked. Uh, spare book, spell book took, and he was put in jail um, for a long time. Um, he was a crumpled mess um, as he kind of awaited trial for what had happened um, even though he knew he did not do it um, there was no real getting out he was the teacher um, and it was kind of you know his fault at the time so um, as he waited days kind of turned into weeks the trial kept getting pushed for other political matters um, it was very low on the docket um, for the whole town um, just as it was a case um, and they didn't really care what really happened to him um, eventually um, the weeks that kept going went to months and his opportunity to be free and defend himself kept getting farther and farther until eventually years slipped by um, and he was just there. His only real friend um, who would come and see him was Sylvia, uh, a childhood friend. Um, Tyrion's not girlfriend, but the person he would spend time with and was kind of his person. Um, so she would come visit him, but that was it. Um, then one uh, seemingly normal afternoon, um, just another day for him, um, a woman appeared. Um, she was slender. She was in a dark black dress, um, piercing green eyes and red hair. Um, she came and approached the cell, which was odd tiefling. Um, and this person was not. Um, she came and offered him a means of escape to leave, to abandon this kind of life and this you know, set of circumstances he was in. Um, it wasn't going to be an easy choice um, because he would be considered an outlaw. Um, he would be considered running, uh, which makes him look even more guilty. But at the time, um, with no other options and with everything else being pushed, um, he left. He left everything behind, everything he knew, and started off fresh. And that's kind of his humbling beginnings. Um, that's really the point of where Tyrion's adventure starts. Um, for him clearing his name, 
Um, that was kind of his goal and his game plan. Um, so, at this point, he found him dr- himself drawn to a tavern. Um, he spent a lot of his time drinking in the first um, few early months, um, more to wash away the guilt and to try and just, you know, make sense of his life um, and what was left of it. He spent some time um, helping the one of the guilds that was nearby from the uh, mysterious woman who had um, got him out of his cell, um, which would later become a pretty close friend. Um, He met his adventuring party. Well, not at the time known, but his soon-to-be adventuring party at that tavern when a mysterious uh, mystery pitted them together, um, and that group of weirdos was kind of stuck with them for the time. Uh, The next few months flew by. Uh, there were shenanigans with the guild, as I had mentioned. Um, they ended up joining, and they all gained ranks in the guild and did different missions. This was kind of the place where they kind of hung out, uh, even though it was kind of shady. Um, this is where they like to spend their time. You know, shady guilds uh, are welcome to weirdos. Um, besides that, they uh, helped towns with a werewolf problem and even fought a hydra. Um, they were adventurers. Um, and while, you know, they started out as weirdos, to become friends. Um, eventually, they did become family. I mean, they each had their own quirks that might have got under Tyrion's skin a little bit, but at the same time, they were his people. Um, as the campaign went, his knowledge grew to a climax. Um, he uh, became a great wizard. Um, and the really, the pinnacle of his story was when Haran, the town he had taught at, the town that kind of abandoned him did get attacked. Um, there was a massive bombing on the town. Uh, the school was utterly demolished along with a lot of the outlying area. Um, and Tyrion, using his magic and his uh, abilities that he had made on his adventuring, um, went in and helped. Even though they had not really slighted him but never gave him a chance to defend himself, he still was there to defend the town when they needed him. Um, so that's where he got to really uh, show himself uh, and really prove that he, you know, didn't abandon it. Um, he reconnected with Sylvia at the time, um, helped students get away, and all that kind of stuff. Helped put out fire, those fun things. Um, additionally, towards the end, uh, more linked in with some of the um, other parties' backstories, but part of his. Um, was a evil cult that they ended up working to stop towards the very end. Um, who was the people who framed Tyrion? Um, and after getting the evidence and bringing them to just- justice, he cleared his name, and that was the wrap-up of Tyrion. Uh, his very long you know, story condensed down into a little summary for you guys. Um, after all that, after the cult was smoshed, after he got to, you know help rebuild the town. He ended up getting a home in the city limits. Uh, He worked there as a um, teacher uh, for more gifted students. He occasionally would sub in at the actual college, um, but he liked to spend his time creating magic items, a new spell um, for himself and for the people who would want to come learn under him. Um, He became a very accomplished um, enchanter and would help adventurers on their adventures um and after his campaign um he did end up going uh into my own personal homebrew campaign um as the local magic man who will help get you out of a pickle if he can um and also has the dangerous magic items you probably shouldn't be allotted um but he was a lot of fun very complicated character um maybe not the best to start off as but um Still one of my first OCs um, and one of my favorites. And I had a lot of fun drawing them um, as we actually get towards the end um, of the time lapse. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, This is something new for me specifically. I'm not one to do. This is actually the first voiceover I've done um, for a video. So please treat it kindly if you can. Um, I would love tips. And if you want to see more of my art, um, I do occasionally post to Twitter. It's at Brent underscore GCS, I'm pretty sure. Um, And you can see some of the other random stuff I do. Um, 
I'm hoping to put more of these out in the past. I have some other OCs I would like to do time lapses for. Um, and if you kind of like this format of how I ended up recording it, I would love to know your opinions. Um, since this is the first, I'm open to lots of suggestions. Um, and I will continue to hopefully make it better as I go through. But this is Tyrion Hatterson, Wizard of Lore, smart buddy who occasionally did some dumb things and, you know, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit the like button. Um, yeah, that's going to be it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>